Welcome back to Z Tutorials and today I have a Photoshop tutorial for you guys where basically I'm just going to bring you through the steps on how to remove a background image. So on the left here this is an example where we have an apple green logo with a white background on it. I basically took that white background, removed it so we're just left with the apple logo on its own, a transparent background so that it blends in with anything behind it. Now this can be implemented anywhere you want on photographs, images, logos, whatever you want and it's basically done in Photoshop so let's get started so here we are in Photoshop and first off what you want to do is you want to create your new file so you just want to go to file new and set your dimensions whatever you want it doesn't really matter but you want to make sure that your background color is set to transparent this is very important for deleting your background so make sure it's set to transparent but I already have one made here so I'm just going to open up one I already made right there and basically it's just a back black background with some text I'm going to put in my image here so I'm just going to go to file place and I'm going to look for that image so here it is the logo click on place and there it is now I'm just going to resize that a small bit so that it won't take up the whole thing we might put it to something like 60 percent height and width and when you're happy we're just going to get straight into it now what I've noticed is a lot of people like to do this with the eraser tool. So right here on the left panel you have all your tools and uh, one of the tools is the eraser tool and people like to go along and try and erase the background. Now this is fine, it does work, um, it works sometimes but uh, it's not very accurate. You want to use a more accurate way which is the wand tool. Now there's two type of wand tools, there's the magic wand tool and the quick selection tool. I'm going to show you both but uh, it's very very easy to do. But before you start, you want to click on your logo by right clicking on it and you want to rasterize the layer. Now why do you want to do this? It's because when you try edit something with the wand tool, it needs to be rasterized first. Um, it doesn't change the image or anything, it just rasterizes, so don't worry about it. Just click on, right click on the image and go to rasterize layer. So now that we have it highlighted, the magic wand tool will automatically select all the black and you just want to click on delete and it will delete all that background image. Now obviously sometimes this doesn't work because it might select parts of the image that you don't want to be deleted but for the most part I have found that this to be very very accurate. Um, if you just select the white part there it will select all around it and it will kind of deselect the green. Now the second way is with the quick selection tool so that's just another one tool and basically it's just more accurate so if you have those little spots where uh, the, wand, the magic one tool is doing incorrectly you want to go around with the magic you want to go around with the quick one tool sorry and you want to delete it that way so that's two ways of deleting it now for this image the magic one tool works perfectly fine so I would suggest trying with the magic one tool first if it doesn't work you can always just press control alt z or control z and I'd undo what you did and try it with the quick selection tool but that's all I have for you guys that's a quick little tutorial how to delete a background image of a logo or a picture and uh, there's more and more to come so make sure you hit that subscribe button above for more HD tutorials. I do upload very very regularly so if you are one of those guys who like to watch tutorials or um, basically just tech related videos in any way you can check out them here as well. If you want to see my last video which was on the Lime Rain and Green Poison Jailbreak you want to click on that little Lime Rain logo there on the left. If you want to check out my next video which I don't know what it's going to be yet but I presume it's going to be something in the tutorial sense or maybe in the iPhone sense you want to click on that question mark there you can hover over it and it'll tell you what that video is. Otherwise you can just click on that big big yellow subscribe button there to subscribe to for more tutorials and tech talk but thank you all for watching and this is Z Tutorials signing out